The Trident 4 product line is extremely well suited for traditional and emerging networking requirements. It supports traditional L2 and L3 switching applications, non-traditional L4 and beyond applications, and advanced visibility and traffic characterization. A Layer 4 load balancer maps service requests to server groups based on the services provided by each server group. The Trident 4's programmable pipeline and large, fungible on-chip databases make it ideally suited for use as a stateful Layer 4 load balancer. Its programmable pipeline allows for the addition of the new functionality specified in NPL, a very simple, construct-rich, and efficient programming language. The large, fungible on-chip memory facilitates very large state association tables for maintaining the link between client connections and real server IP addresses. The Trident 4 hardware pipeline has been enhanced to support the load balancer data plane functionality through a simple program written in NPL. This program is implemented on top of a base switch application with less than 300 lines of additional NPL code. The switch can continue to perform traditional switching and routing functions while performing load balancing with no impact on performance. Packets coming in from the internet are sent to the Trident 4 switch, which is running the load balancer application. The switch tracks connections between packets and application servers in its connection table. As shown later in the demo, this particular solution uses address translation, specifically NAPT to perform the load balancer function. The translations between actual addresses and virtual addresses are performed at wire speed. And if needed, the switch also performs the reverse translations to return the packets back to the requesting clients, also at wire speed. The Trident 4 offloads the load balancer data plane by maintaining bi-directional data flow tables. It provides line rate traffic distribution to application servers and ensures per-connection consistency. The Trident 4 switch provides multiple telemetry options, including streaming and in-band telemetry, with a large number of per-flow counters and meters. It also implements flexible traffic scheduling, with minimal changes to control plane software. Now on to the demo, which is a simplified network simulation. The demo consists of two virtual machines which are set up on a Linux server. VM number one is running Linux IP Virtual Server, or IPVS, a commonly used open source load balancer implementation. VM number two uses the open source Mininet framework to create a network of multiple clients initiating requests targeted to multiple servers. The clients and servers are hosts in Mininet connected to a functionally accurate simulation model of the Trident 4 switch. The model is developed using a comprehensive toolchain that makes it easy to write NPL code, compile, and test it in simulation before deploying the code to real hardware. In this demo, the NPL application performs traditional Layer 2, Layer 3 switching, augmented with the load balancer functionality described earlier. Here we can see the traffic coming from the client machines being directed by the Linux IPVS load balancer. The Trident 4 load balancer is learning the connection mapping as the packets are routed by the IPVS to the servers, which have been assigned different weights inside the IPVS. As the Trident 4 learns the traffic mapping, it directs traffic for these connections, and the Linux IPVS is only providing direction for new connections. As the number of new connections introduced drops, the number of packets that are only routed by the Trident 4 increases. Conversely, the number of packets handled by the Linux IPVS decreases. Here we can see that essentially all of the load balancing of packets is now being performed by the Trident 4. No more packets are being sent to the Linux IPVS as the Trident 4 has learned all of the connection mapping. The Trident 4 is providing all of the load balancing and doing so with extremely low latency and with minimal server load. Using a Trident 4 as a load balancer gives several advantages over server-based load balancers. Its programmable architecture allows new features to be easily added, even during operation. The load balancing functions can coexist concurrently with other switching, routing, and traffic analytics functions. One switch has orders of magnitude more bandwidth than server-based load balancers and can replace racks of expensive, power-hungry server-based load balancers. As shown in this demo, a Trident 4 base load balancer can also offload existing load balancer frameworks with minimal changes to the deployment setup. The same Trident 4 application can support additional important functionality, such as integrated anti-DDoS protection. Visit www.broadcom.com for more information about the Trident 4 Ethernet switch, the Trident 4 base load balancer functionality, and other related information.
Visit github.com npLang to learn more about NPL and the tool chains.